Hey everyone, so this is another walkthrough video of one of our pages or views on Myri Seller Genie online. This is the inventory view and it's a pretty quick one because there's not a lot to it. There's just a, a grid of inventory. Uh, but I thought I'd go into uh, filtering a bit and some of these other controls here. So filtering is what allows you to sort through your data um, or filter through your data to find uh, something that meets a certain criteria. So you know, maybe in your item title, you have brands and you want to search for Nike, like anything you have that has Nike. Oh, shoot. I don't have any Nike in here. Um, let me check before I, before I do this. Okay. So love, love appella. I'll oops, search for that. All right. So item title contains love appella. All right. And then you see I'm down to 24 results when previously I had a few hundred and all these results contain love appella. Um, so I can also add filters if I want to have additional criteria and I can either say that these criteria work together or, um, do like an either or thing. So like I can say item contains love appella or item contains uh, black and then see this goes up to 136. Whereas if this were and, I'd get down to zero. So you just kind of have to think through what you're searching for uh, in order to use this. Once you get a feel for it, it's, I think, pretty intuitive. Uh, but of course, always, if you have questions or something's not making sense, uh, reach out for help uh, either through our email address, support at myresellergenie.com or on the support Facebook page. We would uh, love to answer any questions that we can for you. Uh, but there's there's other things that you can do here. You, you may have seen I uh, resize my column. Uh, so you can resize your columns if, if you want to see more. And you can actually even select which columns you want to see. So if I just didn't really care about all this information and I wanted to see my item, where it was located, how much I bought it for, and the platforms listed in notes. I could do that really easy. And then I can shrink this down so that we can see a lot of it on, on my screen at once. So that's, those are two, uh, two nice features. Uh, also, you can adjust the density of the rows if you want them to be a little tighter together or a little further apart. And then lastly, you can use the export button to export the current inventory. So for example, if your accountant asks for uh, a listing of all your items that you have in inventory, it's really easy for you. You just click export and there you go. Uh, you can also use that if, say, you wanted to do some data analysis that we didn't offer on My Reseller Genie. Uh, you can export your inventory, your sales, numeric overview, all sorts of good stuff. But anyways, that's all to, that I have to talk about with the inventory view. So I hope this was helpful. And let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.